Okay guys, first of all, first of all, that's the first thing you gotta do. When you go to Rome, get yourself a room, hotel room, whatever, apartment in the Termini area. It's the best area to come back to after a long day, best area to eat in the evening, midnight snacks, there are drinks, there's coffee, a beautiful breakfast in the morning. The Termini area is the best. I mean, it's at the edge of everything. Anything is accessible from Termini. Stazione Termini. Tip number two, do not eat breakfast at your hotel, especially if it's like included, don't. Merda. It's all supermarket shit, okay? And it's not very good. And the coffee is piss, really. Okay, you're living in a Germany area, so get out of the hotel, walk to the nearest snack place or cafe or whatever, and have a beautiful breakfast with the best coffee ever there, okay? Tip number three is, don't be afraid to take a taxi. It's all legit. Make sure the taxi is white and it has a meter in it. The meter inside a taxi uh, can be found in a strange location, like 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 sometimes it's like along the dashboard sometimes, but sometimes it's embedded. The mirror computer chip or whatever is embedded in the rear view mirror, and you see the, the, the digits on the rear view mirror. No ride in Rome should cost you more than 15 euros, including the tip. Taxis in Rome are found at taxi stands, or taxi queues, or whatever you want to call them, taxi ranks. Those taxi ranks are at all the famous tourist locations and some other locations. In Trastevere, they are at every single bridge. You can't hail a taxi from the street. You could call a taxi on your phone, or you could ask uh, the restaurant owner to call you one, but there's usually a taxi stand really within walking distance, okay? Bellissimo! Tip number four, nightlife. There are two neighborhoods that are great for, ni for nightlife in Rome. One is called Trastevere, that's the Trastevere. obvious Trastevere is like this little, this huge medieval bohemian neighborhood. Tight, narrow streets, Tiny cafes, big cafes, plazas, every, everything you need, you know, to enjoy yourself at night is in Trastevere. Uh, the alternative is Monti, Monti, which is trendier than Trastevere, smaller, okay. Also medieval streets, but they were like improved upon, beautified in the 19th century. So all those medieval buildings look sort of, sort of. Neoclassical, okay? Neoclassical. You just walk down the Via Cavour from Termini. Bellissimo. And you go down those steps and you're in Monti. Monti. Neoclassical. But Trastevere is more fun. It's right over the bridge, it's right over the Tiber, and it's packed day and night, and it's beautiful. Bellissimo. Tip number five don't take any guided tours. Seriously, guys, guided tours are a thing of the past. Merda. The purpose of a guided tour is to give you an idea of what this or that place is, right? They started back when there was no internet. Cretini. Anything you want to know about, look it up first and go there boldly. Seriously. No guided tours, they are a waste of time. They're done by people who are mostly incompetent, uh, tongue-tied, and largely bored, they'll spoil it for you. So do a little bit of research. It's very easy these days. Public transportation tip number six. Take the metro boldly. There aren't too many stations you'll need to go to. Barberini is one. Spagna is the next one, okay? Spagna is where the Spanish steps are. The Colosseum, maybe. San Giovanni, maybe. And there's a couple of stops in the Vatican area in the neighborhood called Prati. You will also need to take the metro if you're traveling to Tivoli, which is a little town now uh, like 18 miles out of Rome where all the villas are. You'll need to take the B line Ponte Mammolo. and take the bus from there, okay? Take the metro. Don't ever take the bus inside the city line. They're totally useless. They're slow, they get stuck in traffic, and they don't get you where you want to be. The trams 
don't take the tram either. Okay, maybe once from Piazza del Popolo to the Vatican simply because the tram there goes through Prati, a very pretty neighborhood, and you have to take the tram at least once when you're in Rome. Okay, once. Take the metro and take a few taxis. Okay, no buses, no trams. Tip number seven, don't get hung up on food. Manzare. You can't really impress a New Yorker with your food people. We have the best restaurants here and the best food here. Food in Rome is okay. Some of it is wonderful and everything, okay? But don't get hung up on it because that's not why you are in Rome. Wine is very good and very cheap. Coffee is divine and very cheap. Everything else, your pasta, your chicken, your pork, your beef. If great food is the purpose of your trip, come to New York, don't go to Rome. Order some pizzas, buy some snacks, okay? You'll enjoy it. It's Rome.